Dear students, welcome to the first live presentation of Le Nôtre Culinary Art School. Hello, welcome everybody. Welcome to the Ecole Le Nôtre. Before starting this live, please let us know in the comment if you can see and hear us well. Yes, uh, it's going to take just a few minutes for us to get everything uh, up to speed and up to order. Exactly. Uh, feel free to shoot us a comment or write something below. We will check on the Facebook and Vimeo platform, so just let us know if it's working. We will wait until... It's just going to take a few seconds, maybe just a few minutes, to make sure all our computers are lined up. We're doing on multiple platforms today. Hope you guys are doing very well where you are. You can also comment where you are and below. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, it does. It seems to work. Perfect. Yep. So let me first introduce you to the team. Alexander. Hello, hello. Bonjour. Hello, everybody. My name is Alexander Dreyer. I'm a pastry chef and chef here at the Ecole de Notre. Uh, originally from Texas. Been in France for 11 years and here at the school for about four years. I'm to present uh, Roman. <laughs> hello. So, in charge of international development at L'Ecole Le Nôtre. And today we are going to present you our pastry chef diploma. So, during uh, this presentation, please do not hesitate to write your comment in the uh, chat and via the, uh, in the comment. And uh, Alexander and I will be uh, pleased to answer you uh, during the Q&A session. We also want to let you guys know that we're filming today live uh, from the school here in Plaisir from our baking department, so exactly. our baking class. So during this slide, we will briefly introduce you to the Maison Le Nôtre and the Ecole Le Nôtre. Then we will uh, detail all you need to know about our pastry chef diploma. And then we will have a Q&A session. So let me first introduce you to the Maison Le Nôtre. So the Maison Le Nôtre was founded in 1957 by uh, Gaston Le Nôtre. And today, the Maison Le Nôtre is structured around four activities. So as you can see in the screen, we have the caterer reception, which means the event, such as the uh, Ryder Cup or the uh, Roland Garros tournament. Mm -hmm. Then we will have the, uh, how do you say that, catering activities. Right. So it's um, in French and abroad. And in fact, we will open a soon a shop in Shanghai next December. So we offer all kind of uh, categories. Correct. Uh, in the boutiques here in Paris, we have 11 different shops. Um, inside the shop, we're very, very known for pastries and for our sweets. But we're also very, very well known for our savory food. We do prepared dishes, charcuterie, um, fish and meat, uh, exactly. chocolates, and many, many different things, baked goods, fresh bread, uh, many, many different things in the boutiques. Exactly. Then uh, we will have the restaurant activities, such as the uh, Precathlon, a three stars uh, restaurant, whose chef is... Uh, Frédéric Anton. Exactly. Yeah, Frédéric Anton. And uh, of course, the last one, the uh, French Culinary Art School. Um, to move on with the key facts, well... Real important, you know, um, Le Nôtre, they call Le Nôtre, was the first pastry school in France. Uh, we've been doing this since 1971. Uh, in the year 2019, we actually served over 6,900 students all year long. Uh, during the year, uh, not only we have a beautiful uh, staff of uh, instructors from many different uh, categories, we also invite up to at least eight Marie de France, or master craftsmen of France in different uh, categories, whether that be cuisine, charcuterie, or pastry. Exactly. And at the moment here, we offer three different diplomas, one for baking, bread making, cuisine, and also pastry with myself and exactly. another chef as well. And we also have nine school partnerships, such as uh, S, uh, sorry, excuse me, such as the SPC in Korea, Kanakis in Greece, and also Kokusai in Japan, and many other. So now that we introduce you the Maison Le Nôtre, let's move on on the Ecole Le Nôtre. So the Ecole Le Nôtre was founded by uh, Gaston Le Nôtre, who was a creative and visionary pastry chef. So the objective was to uh, share their knowledge and expertise to professionals around the world. And this is now the founding value of the Ecole Le Nôtre. Right. Uh, French pastry has been going on for many, many, many hundreds of years. 
and here at the school we find it's very very important to uh, know the history and to be able to transmit that just like Gaston Lenoir did back in 1971. Exactly. So just to precise a little bit, the Ecole de Note provides different types of activities. As you can see in the screen, we have the advanced trainee courses for professionals. Right. These are classes mainly based on the two, three, four, five days. Exactly. They're theme specific, uh, ranging, of course, like our brand from uh, cooking to pastry. Uh, in pastry, for example, we can do a perfection on just chocolate or just sugar. Uh, for example, this week, uh, we have a world champion of pastry, Etienne Loire, with us, working just with sugar. Exactly. Then we will have the tailor advice and consulting, and also the long-term certification trainee in cooking, bakery, and pastry. And the last activity is the amateur classes. Right. Not only do we do professional classes, not only do we uh, provide the service to change your uh, entire um, uh, job, we also do amateur classes that take place over the weekend between exactly. three to four hours. Once exactly. again, you can learn how to cook with us, you can learn how to make a cake as well, and be gone and done within four hours. And nowadays, the Ecole de Notre is represent a 300, 3,000, sorry, 700 uh, professionals, a team of 12 qualified instructors and many renowned chefs such as uh, Guy Krenzer. Guy Krenzer, two-time MOF, so Jean-Christophe uh, Janson, who uh, just got his MOF last year. Exactly. Uh, and many different world champions in their different rights. Who uh, who's, uh, share their expertise with all of our students. Correct. Perfect. Then maybe we can move on the pastry chef diploma. So please, Alexander, you may. Right. The whole live uh, today, we want to talk uh, with you and get to exchange with you as well to go over the details. So the program is broken up uh, over six months into three different blocks. Uh, each block represents about uh, six weeks of class and then one week of exams. Uh, during the class, let's say for the first block, we do the simple uh, doughs, whether that be sweet doughs, yeast doughs. We go over uh, pâte à choux, sablés, tarts, and all the basic building blocks as a pastry chef, writing with chocolate and so on. Then we pass to the second block. The second block is a little bit more intense, we'll say, a little bit more uh, complicated. We do entremet, uh, which is large cakes that we then cut into smaller portions. We do a whole week of chocolate working, whether that be by hand or using the molds. We also uh, do petit four, whether they be sec, dry cookies, or also soft cookies as well. Um, and also the pièce montée, which would be the croque en bouche, something very, very famous in France. When this block is done, we can move on to the third block. The third block is uh, more specific, so we would take one week of plated desserts, for example. We also uh, show you a whole week of savory cooking um, from different prepared things like charcuterie and traiteur that we do here at Renault so well. And we, part we share the kitchen with two invited chefs that we are that are titled. They've won uh, competitions and championships, someone from our team. And we have an intense week with uh, sugar and high-end pastry, one intense week with uh, boulangerie, bread making, and uh, sweet doughs. Yeah. And uh, maybe you can just explain a little bit about the internship and how it's working. The internship. So we really accompany our students from the beginning to the middle and to the end. Here at Le Nôtre, uh, thanks to our different activities, whether that be the boutique, the production facility here or the restaurants, we offer a stage for four weeks in our establishment. So not only do we do 40 hours in the kitchen, at the end of the training, we do four full weeks in uh, one of our establishments. Exactly. And uh, now we can just explain a little bit about maybe the uh, exam, how it's working, how we can move on uh, to the next level. Right. Um, going back to our regular theme, taking care of our students, making sure that everyone uh, is up to date. Seeing as how the training is so intense, we want to take a test every Friday. Um, every Friday it is a 45 minute test uh, on the fly, meaning that uh, it would just be one of the jests that we had practiced on that week. Exactly. We also have a written test every week with different vocabulary terms, whether that be English or French. Vocabulary is very important. Um, but at the end of every block, that's where we do the bigger test. We would do one full day, of, well, one half day of the written test. Okay. 
then the next day they come in and we have a, a practical exam uh, which they won't know the theme we give them the theme in the morning uh, we have one jury in the kitchen mm -hmm. we also have one jury for the tasting that is completely different All right. uh, and so they're judged accordingly of course uh, hygiene organization cleanliness uh, whether the pastry is uh, correct square and pretty like they like it uh, and then all the way to the tasting. So just to recap, you will have an exam per week and a, an exam at the end of each uh, level. Exactly. Exactly. So as you can see in the screen, you can have a picture of what we we can uh, do during uh, the first level. Exactly. So it's kind of. You can clearly see the the level of our chefs only after six weeks of training. Exactly. Well. Um, in addition of uh, what Alexander said, we can recap just a little bit and to uh, maybe uh, tell you some practical information. So first of all, it's really important to understand that our pastry training courses are uh, designed for professional or adult who wish to change their career or to uh, who want additional expertise in pastry. Right. Some, so, sometimes you have people wanting to change their job. Exactly. Uh, we can, of course, welcome them. And we also have other people that want to really refine their, their skills on a certain subject. Right? Exactly, yeah. And uh, the goal is to quickly uh, reach a high level in uh, pastry within seven months. Mm. So, uh, indeed, our pastry trainee diploma is now uh, registered to the uh, RNCP, which means that it's now recognized and certified by the French government which is very important because it provides you the basic method and technical in pastry making needed to daily to be a pastry chef. Right. We're very, very happy to announce that, uh, that we, uh, exactly. we have the, uh, the stamp from the government and that uh, this is a very high level uh, intense uh, training exactly. that requires a, a good level of student one. About maybe the equipment and material, uh, Alexander, you can explain a little bit. Sure. Uh, each student that comes into the program, the pastry chef program, will be offered, uh, will be given uh, chef vests. We have professional chef pants given. Uh, the security shoes are also given as well. An apron and a toque uh, every day. Uh, we also um, give them a mallet, a mm -hmm. large exactly. professional box filled with the yeah. knives, spatulas, whisks, everything needed to, to uh, do all the recipes in the train. Yeah. And of course, uh, from the school here in Plaisir and our new school at Rangis, we have all of the new uh, new toys and new beautiful equipment for exactly. everyone to uh, profit to the top. Right. And uh, now to speak about the usual timetable, uh, Alexander said before, but maybe we can just explain a little bit. Sure. Uh, as the timetable, the students, they come to the school between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. Uh, between 7 and 8, we do the breakfast. And then at 8 o'clock, uh, in the kitchen, in your token, your apron, and uniform, we start the class. During the class, uh, we will take any recipe, for example. We would weigh the number of students plus the chef. It is a live demonstration, and you're live right there in the, in the kitchen cooking directly. Uh, we do demonstration and uh, action over and over and over again until the, the week is done. Now, we do have a break during lunch. That's about 12 o'clock. We take a break for 45 minutes. After, we come back to the kitchen. There's a small coffee break at 3 o'clock. And then we work all the way to 5, 5.30, leaving a half an hour for cleaning and uh, put everything back in its place. Exactly. So it's 40 hours per week. It's a little bit intense, but it's needed to understand the... and uh, How do you say that? To... to we try have to the expertise uh, to become a pastry chef. That's 100% correct. Yeah. Uh, we really try to show the student what it's like to be working as a professional, and that means being there in the kitchen early and on time and uh, you know, working a full day. However, Friday, we do get off at 3 p.m. Right, that's right. About the accommodation, uh, Ecole Luna doesn't have a campus, but we provide you all the information and we help you to do your research about it. So we uh, provide you a list and uh, help you uh, during this, uh, this period. If anyone has any questions about that, of course, we'll be able to handle each case-by-case -case basis by email. Exactly. 
maybe to speak a little bit about the fees uh, detail, Alexander, you can just explain this. For the full diploma, um, to actually have all the three levels, this total price is going to be 3,400-680 euros, uh, 34,000, excuse me. And, but we also have the option, if you'd like, we can do the first block uh, completely, go all the way to the exam, take a break, come back six months or a year later to finish the second and third for the prices uh, just down below. Exactly. And in addition to all this information and to the certification, the strong point of our trainee rely on 21, uh, 21 weeks of uh, intensive classes and the classes size limited to 12 participants, right. which uh, allow us to respect the uh, sanitary restriction. And this is really important during this pandemic period. So we do maintain our uh, classes during this period. And also we have uh, four weeks of uh, internship in Le Notre establishment. So now that we uh, explain all of this point, maybe we can switch on the good, uh, good news, uh, the new Ecole Le Nôtre in Rangis. That's right, we're moving, we're moving. We're going to Rangis next March. Exactly, so the next trainee will take place in the new site in Rangis, easily accessible by transportation and only uh, 20 minutes from Paris. Just right outside. Exactly. So it is a 2,300 uh, square meters brand new building with 13 modern classrooms and uh, also a bioponic rooftop uh, vegetable garden. So uh, you can see the uh, future school in the screen. Also one beautiful advantage is we're going to be literally in the city of Rangis, which is yeah. next to the biggest wholesale market in the world. Exactly. Uh, couldn't be a better place to have good food and uh, everything ready at our fingertips. Yeah, good point. So the, uh, the two next sessions will take place on first uh, March 1st and September 6th. And we invite you to uh, register at least uh, three months before. But, and you can now uh, apply for this uh, session. That's correct. Registration is open even for March and December for next year. Exactly. Also, one thing I did forget to mention, uh, back to the exam, if you can look here on the calendars, Oh yeah. after every exam, we also have one week of break, which would be vacation. However, uh, if the exam doesn't go well, they're always able to come back the next week, try one more time to make sure that they can uh, exactly. they get the test. This is really important. And now about the uh, application modality, right. we, we will ask you a resume and a cover letter and to fill an application forms. Then it's also very important for us to remind you uh, that you need a minimum of uh, level in English or in French. Yes, we're going to iterate that very clearly. Uh, this is a high level school uh, where we teach high level pastry, high level cooking, and therefore we need to have uh, our students be sure to be fluent in their each individual language, whether that's French or English. Exactly. And thereafter, we will invite you to an interview with a member of the Ecole Nôtre or, and uh, one of our chefs. Well, um, then I think we can move on on the uh, Q&A session. So we will uh, check your comment uh, just during few seconds to have some uh, yeah if you guys have any questions any specific things that you want us to talk about feel free to uh, send us by yes so uh, we have one question from maria which is asking if you have any recommendation seeing uh, her work on instagram i'm sorry what's the question uh, if you have any recommendation on which type of training she should take uh, okay. after seeing her work. Oh, I see. Um, yeah. So it's, uh, it's Maria from Ukraine. Ukraine, beautiful. So well, Maria, Maria from, Seoul, from Ukraine, welcome. Howdy. Your pictures are absolutely beautiful. Um, things like this with chocolate work and sugar work would definitely be one of our stages uh, lasting one week with a. Uh, with one of our, our champions or one of our chefs. Definitely a, a week-long class for sure. So which kind of? I'd say 
Uh, if you can have a class with Etienne Leroy or um, Fabien Emery, it would be beautiful. That would be right up your alley. Thank you. Uh, we also have one question from Arif. Beautiful work, by the way. It looks gorgeous. Arif, which is asking if uh, training includes room and board. Ah. I think that Roman already answered that question, but maybe she can. So about the uh, room and accommodation, uh, we do not have a campus, but we can help you to find an accommodation. We also have a list and we can uh, help you during your research. Right. Uh, but we do uh, provide lunch and breakfast. Exactly. Of course, the uh, yeah. housing is uh, on the uh, side. We have a question from Evelyn, which is asking if we are planning to do some online classes. Um, oh, good. We did do yeah. an online demonstration, uh, f f a few a menu, I think that was a month ago, and uh, it's a great question. Um, we actually uh, prepared this kind of activities, so we developing that for the moment is not uh, available for the moment, but we uh, currently uh, are doing that. And also next week we're doing a live foie gras recipe yes, with exactly. the director of the school, so feel free to tune in next week. Exactly. Uh, we have a question from David, which is asking if you have any bursaries or partial bursaries. All right. So about the uh, scholarship or all this kind of funding help, uh, we, uh, we do not have a scholarship, but I invite you to uh, contact your embassy who can um, explain you which kind of uh, funding option you have. And it's a kind of case per case. It depends on your country. Okay. Uh, we have another question about Evelyn. Uh, if the amateur classes will be in the new facility at Rangis or not? Uh, yes, it will be, uh, 100%. 100%. Okay. Um, maybe we can wait a few minutes more. Maybe you can explain us uh, what the student can do at the end, you know, this kind of the career. Ah, yes. Um, it's a very beautiful class because we have so many people from all over the world. And we have people uh, from China and Japan and uh, United States, North Africa. So there's not really a perfect picture, if you will, for one of our students. Uh, but some have gone back to their country to open up their own shops. Some uh, in recent times have opened up online stores uh, during the COVID uh, problems. Uh, we actually have one of my students going to the Le Notre Shanghai, going to uh, help start up that boutique. Um, some chefs do want to stay here in France as well to uh, study in with different chefs and work in different uh, places. Some chefs stay with us. We really have a very, very big profile from all yeah, over the place. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. So we don't have any more questions because uh, Nixie was asking what your students are oh. doing after it. So ah, perfect, perfect. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think that if people still have questions, they can post the exactly. them on Vimeo and on Facebook. Okay. So and, uh, yeah. if it's okay, well, we will push them uh, the next day. So if you have uh, more question after the live, we can uh, you can ask them in the comment or also you can send us by email it's ecole at lenote.fr uh, so please feel free to ask any question and uh, well i hope you enjoyed the live and you uh, found the information useful yes guys thank you very much for tuning in i hope you learned a little bit uh, yeah. about us and of course if you want uh, anything for a live anything else any ideas feel free to share on the comments below yeah we, uh, we appreciate if you have some feedback, uh, expectation for the next live. Uh, just uh, please uh, do not hesitate to write it in the comments. And uh, thank you very much. And all the uh, Ecole team uh, wish you a good day. And uh, thank you very much. Excellent day. See you guys next time.